so I got my base for the new air bearings here and it's millimeter. it's very flat and you want that for the air bearings because I'm gonna do some things too I'm gonna glue these two pieces together here so that it becomes more rigid and I'm gonna screw a bunch of holes I'm gonna screw a bunch of holes in here and put some drywall screws to clamp them together after I glue it so that it locks it in place perfectly. I think the glue would probably be sufficient for this so I might actually not do that but, but what I'm going to use is this epoxy right here self-mixing epoxy and okay, okay. so we are building the supply the air pressure supply that's this piece right here this piece this piece this piece and we'll show you when it's done Okay, so I went ahead and cut out a bunch of these rings from this graphite. Um, it's scrap graphite, so I'm not sure if it's porous enough for the air bearings. But I did manage to find some graphite that worked for an air bearing um, the other day. So we're going to go ahead and I'm making some new ones because I plugged up the porous holes on the other one. So we're going to go ahead and use three of these stacks right here. To make a nice sleeve and they go inside of the bearings like that and then your cap goes over the top so I just got it so that when you stick these in like this it's got a little holder at the bottom with some spacing around the outside and you put three of these on top of each other. I'm going to glue the center. I'm going to glue them all together before I glue them into the casing. But as you can see, there's a little ring where air can get around the bearing. And then we put our cap on top. And this is the same thing. It's got that little holder right there. And we stick that right on top. And then we've got our air entryway right here and that will evenly push a ring of air create a ring of air around the graphite and it will the porous medium will uh, levitate the shaft so that's our air bearings right now what I'm gonna do is I've got these cut out so that they're slightly, very slightly smaller than the actual shaft. So here I am at the lathe. And what I do is I just turn it down nice and slow. And stick the graphite around it and just very lightly let it grind a, a new hole. I empty out the graphite every so often but I've got these cuts like uh, applied science did he just used a grinder wheel to cut these little grooves in the side of the shaft this shaft is exactly the same as the shaft we'll be using but this is just a tool to cut the grooves so it creates a very fine tolerance between the rotor and, or between the shaft and the bearing. So I just go nice and slow while I'm grinding this. And it creates a super fine tolerance. And it just slowly goes on more and more. Now the thing about this graphite is it needs to be a special kind of porous graphite. 
Now they, from the original video that I saw about them, from Applied Science, um, the graphite didn't need to be, or he said the graphite, any, basically any type of graphite works from Amazon. There's no particular type of graphite, but I found that to be false because there is some graphite out there that's impregnated. So after I get it on there, um, after I get it mostly on, I just increase the speed a little bit and very, very, very lightly just slide it back and forth. And what that does is it ends up making a, a perfect sleeve that goes around the shaft. And so I'll do this to all six of those to make my bearings. And if your air bearing doesn't work after doing this, it's likely that you need to grind away a little bit more. So this one is basically nice and smooth. Takes a second to accelerate. And I've got one done. So now I need to do that to six more and we're good to go. Really, these rings should all be one piece. But because we didn't have the right graphite, we have it ordered up now. We are using what we have and stacking them. So we have to glue the ends together. We have to glue them together really precisely so that we don't get any glue or epoxy on the circumference of this inner ring right here. So we want to use the outer circumference to glue to without getting anything on the inner part. And that could be difficult, you know, so it's all close up stuff. All right, so I'm just mixing up this epoxy here. This is five minute cream. One of my favorite epoxies. So I gotta mix this up and then I gotta glue my first piece together. And that would be these two right here. And this stuff you have to work with pretty quick, it's five minute. You can get some other types of epoxies that will be slower. But for this one, we're just gonna use that. Okay. And the faster you, and the longer you mix it, the faster it cures. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to roll the end here into, or the corner, into the epoxy. It's going to be hard to see. But what I want to do is I want to make sure that we don't get any epoxy. You should probably be using gloves too. But we don't get any epoxy in between the two layers. So this part is questionable. I'm just going to re-dip that. You don't want any epoxy between, or in the graphite, in between the layers. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to... Shit! It's an air bearing, that's why it's so viscous. I think I got it, I think I got it. No, I fucked it. Oh no, I only sort of fucked it. Okay, so that was a challenge, and you should, if you do get it on your hands, you want to wash it off pretty quickly, because the chemicals start seeping into your skin pretty fast. And it's kind of wiping it off here. That's because I'm going to re-grind this. Yeah, I may as well do the other part. It's really hard to get it on camera and do it right at the same time. Okay, I've got the pieces glued together for the air bearings. I've been working with graphite. So, 
Got the bottom and the top. Our air inlet is right here and it vents through the piece. Perfectly aligned. And this should make for a really good air bearing right here. You know, like if you were looking up close. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna Okay, and then we're going to move up on over to the other side. Got some silicone. Nice. Pennsylvania is uh, telling everybody in the state that attending um, orgies without a mask is unsafe. Well, that's great for the camera. That's great, yeah. That's what we were trying to tell everyone on our video. That's what we're is trying to pass legislation right now to make all misdemeanors legal. <laughs> what about wow. the Mr. Nicers? <laughs> Wait, no, they they did they. Well, um, we I can like, always edit I think this, this out. Is, I guess. Yeah, we can always edit it. Just out voice, the sound. just voice over it, or maybe leave it in. Who knows? I don't know. Okay, so now we need to set the new air bearings on. Uh oh, Get your hands in the way. Now we can do Let's turn on. Whoa. <laughs> Ooh, that's working really good, isn't it? Looks kind of messy, but sometimes you make things look messy, but it's all about the functionality. It's all about the functionality. <laughs> 